Hi folks, we got a development on the sun that I've never seen before and I've been watching the sun for a while. Take a look at this sunspot. Amazingly, it looks exactly like one of the uh, circles with the magnetic spheres around it with a big sphere in the middle. This is what sunspots normally look like. You can see that the super sunspots are way more defined. What this means exactly, I'm not sure. But it's interesting that uh, there's another one forming today, as you'll see, and both of them are right along the equator. We might end up seeing a string of these form all the way around the sun. That's my guess, but I don't know. The spacing looks about right to fit six of them around the equator of the sun. The possibilities for a coronal mass ejection just increase too, because these sunspots are forming in what's normally called the Earth-facing quiet. Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, earthquakes, weather, a few bits of science news to cover as well when we're watching plasma filaments dance on the incoming limb here, so let's go to spaceweathernews.com. Last 24 hours on our star, we got the trailing coronal hole on the south on the left. Watch ahead of it. Brightness, snapping, x-ray production. It's another sunspot group born facing Earth, and we'll be monitoring that one closely as the coronal hole streams of solar wind are arriving at Earth and driving geomagnetic storms. Hopefully you got yesterday's app alert early warning of the impact and exactly seven hours later the storm began. Level 1 disruption only and peaking out overnight with only modest ground perturbations and only the slightest of returns on the U.S. geoelectric map. Looking at the lithosphere, we've got Krakatoa on alert with near constant tremors there in the mouth between Indonesian islands. Krakatoa is a big volcano that's been associated with ice ages in the past. The big earthquakes continued yesterday as well with a 6.3 in New Caledonia. At magnitude 6 range, we've had more in the last 25 days than in the last three months. That nearly six-month drought this year set a record at magnitude 7 range, beating last year's hiatus by just one day. And since this uptick began, despite only expecting a 7-pointer every 20 days, we've taken five of them in a period of 18 days. Hawaii. One presumes nobody on the islands doesn't know what's about to hit them there tomorrow. In my last weather video, I predicted that the magnetic anomaly at Hawaii would attract that storm. Best of luck and eyes open. And same goes to the West Pacific where no matter where this one hits, it is going to be a devastating event. And we're on to the tokamak, which is only slightly less practical than what you just heard about. But it turns out that might not be true for long as the magnetic field and plasma layers are starting to add up on paper and in the lab. This is fucking funny to me. They're busting their ass trying to understand plasma now. We should have listened to Ed Lead Scallon a hundred years ago. We'd be way more prepared for these plasma events now. Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. There is something really, really strange going on at a solar observatory in New Mexico that was suddenly and without reason closed down last Thursday on the 6th. Having been totally evacuated, the FBI got involved. Even the local post office was evacuated as well. No one is being told why, not the police. Not the post office, not the observatory, no one. I believe I just showed you what they're concerned about. And they should be concerned, as should all of us. Our time for preparation is rapidly coming to an end, folks. Good luck. I'll see you next time.